To give you a little bit of information on the heifers that are in front of us here this afternoon in this heifer milk competition, I'm going to start with number one. Jack Menace is leading out this fresh cow heifer here from Tom and James Kelly at Monmore. She's moving across Clarissa 27, scored at 87 two year olds, a daughter of Delbert's Pepper. She's calved since last November on the way to a very, very big record. Heifer milking extremely well and not a very, very popular Delbert's Pepper. Number two, Carl Colton leads. Heifer that's bred by Tom Kelly and bought in one of his youngster sales. One more illustrious Hanneke, who's a VG 87 two year old. She's owned by Patrick Carl Colton and David Buchanan in partnership. Carl Colton's on the lead today. She's the daughter of Seamus Lambda Hanneke. Her dam was bred by Jerry Murray. Collie's Reese Lustry is an excellent 91 pound cow. And if you go back in the pedigree on this heifer here, she's from the very, very famous Canadian pedigree. Go back to I.D. Lustry, that was a Royal Winter Fair champion. That's her fourth dam. Back to Ravensville, Lydia. So a very, very deep pedigree. We make it that this heifer is a 13th Street generation of VG or excellence. Certainly a real nice heifer there with the representing County Monaghan. Another heifer from County Monaghan is number three. That's Anna Greenham, Green Greenley, Holstein's Greenley, Splendid Katrina, 1602, embryo transfer. She's born from an imported American embryo. The embryos came from Lucky Farms in Illinois, resulted in this great heifer that's been scored at 87 as a two-year-old. The embryos were particularly attractive because the mum is a seventh straight generation excellent cow called Lucky Guthrie Katrina. Huge protein, but a fat cow as well. That's what attracted the Greenland's attention. And the star here is bull called Pine Tree Splendid Peas, a pole bull that brought those pole genes as well to the Sefer calved on the 8th of January. It's certainly looking a dream today. On the, I almost said lot number, it's, it's cast lot number four. We did get a lot number on this heifer some years ago when she was sold in a Gill Valley sale, and John Curtin went in partnership with. Ryan Heather Crummy on this effort. Now she again is an imported Canadian embryo this time, or born from an imported Canadian embryo. Dale Valley Mays Apple Red is an 88 two year old ever. She's started by Cycle Noguchi Jordy Red. Dam is an 88 point diamond bag. The Grand Dam is a 94 point defiance. The next dam is the very, very famous KHW Regiment Apple. Next is a 96 pound pine cow, the very famous red apple cow, one of the most, most famous, I think, red and white cows in the world, and a tremendous breeding cow. And in John's own words, after about five minutes, uh, Brendan said it was a great idea, and uh, he then set about approaching Diageo to orphan a giant sponsorship for it, which they duly uh, obliged and got on board with. So that started the very first show. Brendan was a uh, competition director for that show and up to last year on every show as competition director. So his work, John Murphy here as well from Dear Long, is going to make a presentation as well. And as I say, behind every good man is a good woman. So Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Carmel. Hand it back to Michael. It works with the great show committee here, all the volunteers to bring everything together. And my experience with Brendan over many years, and we showed here many years ago, and when we I got involved here last year in the commentary side of things, is that just his calmness, his grasp of all the detail is something that just it's so impressive. Brendan has it all at his fingers, and he's had that from his renowned as well, too, as one of the most capable stockmen around. He's got many judging duties at top shows on an international basis. And even in this last year, he's been judging into breeds, I think, at the Royal Welsh, and I think at the Royal Island as well, too, or Agri Scott, I beg your pardon, at Agri Scott. So the top shows know of Mark's experience in the Jersey breed, in the Holstein breed. 
and his eye for a dairy cow and his ability to breed dairy cows, so he's in much in demand. So we welcome Mark and thank him for travelling today.